What, what were we right. talking about? Johnny D. The weather stinks. I got it's a right. great idea for you. The next time somebody comes into the honey hole and says, here's our price, you look at them and say, no, I ain't paying that. Because that's what I'm dealing with right now. I've been known to do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I'm, I'm talking about a customer who's been there a long time. Their argument is now materials and all that are going down. I'm like, hey, bro, that's cool. I had to pre-buy this stuff. And they're like, no, we're not paying the price increase. I said, no more price increase. So I just told them, I said, okay. What if we? You don't have to have our stuff. What if we all revolt <laughs> Deuces, against player. inflation? Well, I mean, I was just like. Uh, yeah, what if I'd have told my supplier I ain't paying that? What if I told Cam and them, no, I ain't paying that? Mm. Mm-mm. No, I'm still going to order it, but I ain't paying what you say. I'm going to pay what yeah. I want to. Bucktails went up 54% yesterday. I mean, I don't. That's just hair. That's just hair. That's just hair. hair. Yeah. That's just waste product. And you know, Cyclone. I mean, they ain't out there shaving a deer and then putting him back in there. Wait, right. don't be bad about the deer. I'm, how did, at what point of that was I bad mouthing the deer? Okay, I'm just saying. Hey. He's bad mouthing the people shaving deer. He didn't mean it, baby. Hey, you can, <laughs> hey, you can shave him and make 54% more. Tie you some jigs with him. Yeah, do you have David. the tail of that thing? Uh, no, no, I don't need the tail. <laughs> I could make $8 real quick. <laughs> eight dollars It's what they're worth these days. They used to be worth four. Oh, I had an uncle since you brought that up. He used to do that. That's what he. All the animals and birds and everything, he he made all his fishing flies out of it. Well, didn't y'all used to make pillars from duck feathers? Oh, yeah. How many ducks it take to make a pillar? A bunch. (laughs) (laughs) A bunch. (laughs) No, no. See, that thing, duck hunting used to be a really big deal. Because when the flight would start in, in, what, September, when the teal first started coming down, you know, People would be sliding sideways in the yard, jumping out and talking about, the flight is on. You know, and it used to last like for a month. You'd look up every night, you could go out and listen, and the geese would be honking and all this, you know. And then, hey, when that happened, the day that a guy slid in his yard sideways, jumped out and yelled, the flight's on, the women would start getting number three wash tubs and all this stuff ready for the for the duck season. It was a big deal. Women don't do that no more. <laughs> no. no. Oh, oh, no, women, they've gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> they, I ain't they, doing that. They far. used to be a really good, a really good workforce. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it here first, boys. <laughs> Uh, we may have to take our first break. Well, I don't know that I'm going to be able to recover from that. Hey, there's one man in the world that could get away with saying that, yeah. and he's sitting right there. Uh, every every right. Other oh, they sh- all know I love them. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he said they used to be a really good work. Well, well you got to understand, okay? Sweet I would Lord. love for you to explain yeah, it. No, don't. Just stop. <laughs> there's, there's no way where this gets better. Oh, oh, yeah. There's no way. You can't no, cancel uh, Uncle Sam. Oh, I'm yeah. not saying you cancel him. I'm just saying there's nothing that makes his argument better. Oh, well, we went from inflation right. to this. What happened here, okay, can't is <laughs> I need sunshine. All this rain is killing How me. do you know if a sun's out or hey, not? I'm Your eyes are always you, I'm yellow. I'm telling you, this, this <laughs> weather is killing me. It's about Y'all. time to build an ark. Oh, no, no, I'm serious. Uh, we well, at if least need to look at the boat, floor plan. If you ain't got a boat, you better get one. Yeah. If you live in Louisiana, because you're going to need it. Oh, man. It's raining. Right. And then yeah, raining. yeah, it's been raining. How high is the water, mama? Three foot high and rising. I had done went down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it used to be higher. It, yeah, it's, it's dropping. It is uh, probably just my least favorite time of the year. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Everything's you're in, you're in over. between everything. In Louisiana, February is the coldest month of the year for whatever yeah, reason. and it's and always wet. wet. Yeah. So, But we'll get like this one false week of spring here in a week or two, and you're like, man, yeah, you go yeah. catch a couple of fish. Yeah, you, we're back. Yeah, you'll be then, getting to feel good, and then the temperature will drop 40 yeah. degrees. Then it'll pull the rug out from us. That's right. And you're like, you'll well. be ice on the rug. Then it'll rain again. Yeah, then you'll be back selling them orange crickets. <sighs> 
because my water going to be so muddy, you got to have something to fish and see. <laughs> oh, Canada Lord. duck season ended a long time ago, though, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it starts earlier up there. I did see, like, mm. duck season ended like two days ago, and yesterday I saw just a ton of them up above. I said, that's funny. Oh, yeah. That's how it always works. That's because there ain't no water. Everybody pulls their boards. So they get it back out there, and everybody's like, we should open till March. <laughs> no, Hammer. <laughs> we should close after Christmas because that's the peak. Like <laughs> Christmas is the just peak. Go that way instead of going this way. Yeah, there are way more ducks here in late October than there is in late January. I don't care what anybody says. They ain't no mallard ducks, but you so. can you can shoot size favorite green wing teal. Hey, mm-hmm. and that's the best one anyway. Yeah. So he's fat. He fast and he's good eating. So speaking of pillars, I heard you talking about pillars. Uh oh. Uh, before we started. Well, what about pillows? You were you were talking about. <laughs> hey, somebody said something in here about hey, send me your shirt size. No, you said that. I got when that you, When you too. go to a hotel or motel. Oh, oh, on that. No, what I want to know why is the bed when you go into a motel? You ain't stayed at a motel. <laughs> oh no, or hotel, <laughs> or whatever you want to call them silly thing. But anyway. <laughs> Why is the whole bed nothing but pillows, and, and they're not any good? Because it takes all of them to get a regulation one out of it. Well, well hey. Because as soon as you lay on it and the air leaves it, it's gone. I know. Yeah. Get feathers. No, that's why. No, that's right. why you travel with the my travel They pillow. like the decorative pillows. Oh. So I let me them. tell you what I do before I go to bed every night. I grab about eight pillows, and I throw them on the floor. Then I get in the bed. To the floor? I throw those pillows. Better, on, there's eight, you know, 10 pillows on my bed one, two, every day. Nine. I only yeah. use one of them, and she uses the other one. There's eight of them that have <laughs> no value, no use <laughs> whatsoever. It, so I go in there every night. I grab eight pillows and just sling them up against the wall. It's 10 minutes, 10 minutes to unload the bed of pillows. That's it. And then I go to sleep. Then pull the sheet and stuff back, slide in bed. I go get in the bed the next night, guess the what? The next night, guess what? It's a repeat it's of a the repeat. night before. You got to get rid of 40 pillows. I and think. I said, why do we have all these pillows on the bed? Yeah. You know what she said? Because I like them. And she wins. <laughs> and you we say, have a, 11 and, or 12. And you say, okay, I'll throw the pillows off every night That's it. when I get in bed. Martin, how many pillows do you have on your? Well, I think we have eleven. I mean, I got no way to count, but it's more than what we use. That's right. And look, and you got to move them off the bed. What used to tickle me is like you go in there on the couch, and there's a dozen of them lined up on the couch. That's but there right. ain't nowhere to see it. I was yeah. gonna say right. they got them on the couch move. too. Hey, got to move them out they, the way. They got them on the couch. They got them in the recliner. Yeah. They got them on the bed. I never yeah. understood how, why we have more pillows on our couches than, and you can't sit on the couch. There's a pillow in the way. What's with pillows? What, what's with that? You know why? That's because they ain't got to pick them ducks to make them no more. Because <laughs> yeah. the workforce is declining. <laughs> the declining workforce. We just figured it out. Uh, they, wouldn't make it, they wouldn't have that many pillows if they had to pick all them ducks That's to right. make them. That's, That's right. right. Well, it's, hey. Of course, you wouldn't have them duck lice crawling on you either. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I blame Joanna Gaines. <laughs> oh, hey. That, that is not entirely false. <laughs> oh. I will say. That's why everything in the. That's why all the pain inside houses is white now, like because of her. She did it. I felt like the president for a while at my house. White House. I just went home. White House every day. White yeah. house. Everything was white. Yeah, at eight o'clock at night, it's bright up in there. I went home and they painted the whole outside of my house white. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that's what happened. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, New Orleans style. Oh, I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's a place you want to spend a lot of time. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'll go through there to get, to get to the other side. Yeah, amen. To, to get to them it. stuffed chickens. Mm. It's not a great oh. place to stop. Oh, anymore. we're back on stuffed chickens, boys. Are we always yeah. on stuffed chickens. <laughs> Boy, I can go one right now. Let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. So I know this one. I know this one. You know this one. Hey, look. Hey, the whole world knows this one. And if you don't, we're about to tell you about it because right. it's the beginning of the year. I know some of you have been like, oh, I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to be healthier. We've got the perfect thing for you. You don't have to take a thousand different pills and vitamins and all that. Athletic Greens. One scoop in a bottle of water, in the little jug that they give you, shake it up, down that thing in the morning, and you are set because when you do that, you're absorbing 75 
75 people 75 high quality right. vitamins minerals whole food source superfoods probiotics and adaptogens to help you start your day right special blend of ingredients support your gut health hey intake outtake it in, everything in between, boy. It everything. Takes care of everything. Your nervous system. Hey, that's right. Your immune I system. I told you, hey, it covers it all. Your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. So if one day you want to be like Cy. Wait and a minute. Be, hold it. Hold it. You went too far. No, I'm saying. You added aging in there. I know. Don't be talking about my age. You've aged so well because you okay. took your greens your whole life and you uh, got your vitamins. Uh, okay. And look. I know half y'all out there going through a drive through and you ain't getting no vitamins, you ain't getting no minerals. So take this in the morning, boom, you're set, and it's not that expensive. You're buying an energy drink, you're buying a cup of coffee, this is going to cost you less than that. And whatever diet you're on that you started for the new year, hopefully you're still on it. You might have already kicked the curb to it, but here's the deal. This works for it. Keto, gluten-free, dairy-free, all the things. You can take this, lose weight, because it ain't going to make you all big and puffy, and it's just a really good thing. Look, so I was taking it every morning, boom, and my wife was like, what is this green drink? And she started taking it. She likes it more than I do. She's taking it every morning. She talks about how great she feels. It's an awesome drink. And we're heading into the cold and flu season. Actually, we're probably dead middle of the cold and flu season. I ain't got no cold. I ain't got no flu. My immune system flying. Hey, here's the bottom line. Oh, okay? Here's the bottom line. One scoop will do you. One scoop will do you. And look, to make it even easier, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs. So when you're out on the road, boom, you got a five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Do not do this small. Do not walk. Run and do it today. Well, you know, Sai, you know what we got coming up this weekend? Have no, I, what have I, have I told you? No. It's the annual veterans hunt. On Phil's property. Oh, you're going back to oh, hunt. Good grief, boy, that fly. Can you believe hey, it? This is last the last time we get to hunt. This is it. For this year? This is it. They give us one day. I'm sorry. They give us two days, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A one week. On, one on each end. One yeah. on each end of the season where they allow veterans and youth to go duck hunt. And they're usually real <clears> good. <throat> so I'm going to go scouting in the morning. I'm going to find us a nice little pile of ducks. And me and you and six other veterans, we're gonna go in there and, and we're, the we're gonna in. we're gonna pull the trigger to them barrels start glowing red. He's got a gleam in his eye right now. Oh no no, hey, that's fun. That's fun. It's his third duck hunting of the year. He's talking about missing right. it. It'll Good night. It's third. already over. Oh. It'd be his third time to go out there this year. <laughs> it's and I over. enjoyed them. Look, I enjoyed the first two just thoroughly. I did okay. too. I, I didn't sat miss, right beside him. On I didn't one miss a thing it, the rest of the year. You didn't miss that that decoy either, did you? Uh, nope. Oh, Got well, him. Well, I shoot as I hit. <laughs> Where decoy, is that decoy? Decoy, duck, whatever. It's uh, in. Uh, it's at Lee's house. The cat from Fine. Seek, seek One. See, he made side. Oh yeah, he's fine, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. That's so he decapitated right. that decoy. Huh? Right. He didn't decap it. It's a good hard plastic. Oh yeah. But it was chewed up. It looked like yeah. a dog been on. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I mean, it, it looked just like a dog been sitting there gnawing on it. Uh, and what was bad, I watched the duck light. Me too. Right behind that decoy? No, no. no the she duck lit, and no, then really Martin wouldn't. said, hey, go ahead and get up and kill that bullet. I said, okay. Boom. And the duck had done swam like 10 yards over to the left. That duck ain't moved. <laughs> that duck sitting there quacking in the no, decoy. No, no, she moved. <laughs> she moved. <laughs> she moved. <laughs> she moved. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I just sitting there watching her. I was like, man, look, she's But sound, she I did finally good. cripple her down and they had to chase her down. Yeah. You crippled down a decoy? No, I crippled the duck. No, that was one shot, one kill. Right? Uh, that thing was uh, never destroyed. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that, that decoy is dead as a hammer. Uh, yep. Dead as a hammer, boys. Mm. No, no, beside, we gonna, I'm going to fire that grill up tomorrow night. And, All right. uh, what, what are you cooking? Everybody's night? come over to the house. Oh, I think we're going to go with Day's uh, Thursday. Okay, Friday. Ribeye right. steaks. Ribeye steak. All right. We're going to go with ribeye steak. Medium plus, boys. Medium. That's right, medium plus. <laughs> One of them will be Oh, he's be got medium. that down pat. We're going to have a have a large time. A uh, large time. So long. you just come over about 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. We'll get right. after it. Before your poker game. 
Well, I think like because I'm looking here. Uh, <laughs> I can see him doing his schedule well, in no, no, his head. I all all his, <laughs> no, I, I talked to Mac Millen. You don't have any. Okay. All right. Well, I, just, I know we just discussed all this stuff and updated my calendar. Yeah, he said you're good to go. Yeah, all right. Mm. Do you, speaking of your calendar, do you have it's a any, mess. Do you have any control over it? Uh, not much. Is it, <laughs> do you know not like much. where it's located? Oh, well, I know where it's located, and then we update it every once in a while, okay. and I look, and I just I'm not forget it. I said, somebody will call me and let me know and put me on the plane or get me where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I somebody go push me through the airport. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. While I'm singing at the top of my lungs. Right. Hey. <laughs> hey, look, I They're get, open now, I get bored easily. <laughs> So don't lay it. Don't give me a layover unless you want about a four hour show. You could probably charge for that in them airports because mm-hmm. flying's miserable. Oh, the people love it. Oh, it except is. Except for a few sour pussies, you know. <laughs> Some of it kind of ticks them off. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine though being at an airport and seeing that one grumpy person who's been there for four days get mad at Cy for singing? Oh yeah, they get mad at anybody. Yeah. They're the same people that throw their stuff at the lady working the ticket counter like she in any control of anything that's happening. Yeah. No, they, no. they don't realize that, hey, they're hurting their health. Who's hurting whose health? The people all getting these, upset. All these people have always got a scowl on their face. It takes like 14 muscles to frown. Hmm. Okay, you're working yourself to death. <laughs> Look that up. Okay. <laughs> It takes no, no, I'm muscles. serious. It takes 14 muscles to frown. <laughs> it takes it takes two to smile. And you're working yourself hey, to death. You know, look, let me educate you, please. Hey, go the two two muscle route. You know, no. don't go 14. Hey, you gonna you gonna, you gonna die young? No, no, life on this earth is <laughs> way too short to be mad all. That's it. Hey. Oh my goodness! Put a little That's laughter, wonderful. put a little laughter and a little joy in your life, and hey, you won't believe the change in your personality. <laughs> you know. Johnny D just found something. Was it? He's and cringing. If you, and if you don't, hey, go to Walmart and you buy know, your personality. I'm not. <laughs> the University of Chicago is probably wrong. I'm going to go with this other what one. What did the University of Chicago say? Doesn't matter. Somebody else uh, says it takes 43 muscles to frown. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. And I, I thought it was just 14. He 43 got a, muscles. You are working yourself. They've, uh, no, they've updated. I'm telling you, technology updated. And it, it used to be 14. Now they've done got really technical, and they upgraded it to 43. And only so you are literally working. He's not going to let you. No, don't worry about it. You be (laughs) and seventeen to smile, and seventeen to smile. Oh, so he was off by like a factor of four. It ain't that. Well, hey, I was never good in math. Yeah, obviously we discussed your prowess. That's right. Counting checks out. But the moral of that story is it takes way more to frown than it does to smile. So yeah, yeah, it's a lot more taxing. Hey, you're right. Quit working yourself to death. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the best. That's line. the bottom line. Just smile and laugh. Smile and laugh, and have a good time in life. It's too short. Yeah. What'd you tell that boy that was going into college? That advice you gave him: do just enough to get by. All right. That's it. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> You're gonna get paid the same anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is the first so, time hey. I'm against what you're saying. Hey. So hey, there you go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> My man's spitting truth today. Uh, yeah, he's just telling it how it is. Don't work too hard. Hey, I'm telling you, I need sunshine. He had a good night's sleep last hey. night, son. Hey. Yeah. He was good. It's hey. That's the one thing about rain I like. Sleeping? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. With it hitting oh. the tin roof, you can sleep. Oh, can you sleep? Because you've got it's a major something. problem. Yeah. Oh, no. Anyway. Yeah, because that, it's yeah. something, you know, about it hitting, hitting on the roof. I've seen you sleep in a warehouse with forklifts going. Yeah, I can sleep anywhere. That's I learned that in the military. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But, but the ten warriors, room. okay, they can sleep during war. Warriors? Yeah, warriors. Hey, I'm a vet, so that makes me a warrior. You? Okay? Hey, I ain't arguing. And I can sleep during anything. You know that that canvas on on the top of a deuce and a half is feels a lot like a hammock. Yep. Yep. Confirmed. <laughs> but you don't want to get an old one. No, it, it, no, it rots, no, no. and you have fall through it. 
That's the only thing about canvas. After a while, you know, whoop, whoop, okay, no good. It gets sketchy. Yeah, it, it gets rotten quickly. How many times do you sleep up there? Uh, a whole bunch. Yeah. Did you ever sleep while I was going down the road? Yeah. Up there? Yeah. Not, I wasn't driving, though. Well, well, I hope not. <laughs> well, I, I, just, I, I didn't want to get it alarm anybody. I wasn't driving. Well, when if I they had a steering wheel all the way up there, that'd have been cool. Oh, man. Could you drive while you slept? Huh? No. I just figured if there was one person. But I could, I could look like I was awake and was asleep. <laughs> you should get one of them self driving cars. No. And then no, you could. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, why not? No, uh uh-uh. uh. No. <laughs> I got a truck right now, and like I'm going down the road, and I got close to it, and and the truck starts, the steering wheel starts moving, and I'm going. <laughs> it freaked me out. <laughs> it really did. I don't like those things. No, no, it freaked me out because hey, this thing's took control of me, and I'm saying, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, the worst is when it starts breaking for yeah. you. Yeah, oh, no, no, uh, one, no, no, and look, then, like, like you're talking about. I'm like, about. no, Hammer, I got this. Oh, no, I come up behind, <laughs> I come up behind, not only does it start breaking, it's flashing red lights on the dash. Yeah. Collision, imminent, imminent. <laughs> yeah, about and I'm going, a, wait, you've seen this the This is going too far. Forget imminent, you just gave me a heart attack. Yeah. I said, <laughs> it's collision. Crazy, right? it? it took over. I just, whoa, what in oh, the world? Oh, my God. Your truck told you collision imminent? Oh, yeah. It's imminent. Did you collide? I, oh, no, it's flashing red, and I'm going, I'm saying, hey, I got, don't worry, I see the car in front of me, you stupid thing. <laughs> you know, the computer. <laughs> That tells you just how far we've come as people. Oh no, no, that's they're going a little too. They going. I, I'm against going too all much. that. I don't uh, like it. Oh, I've that, updated a computer before, and everything goes haywire, and I don't want that to happen while I'm going 60 miles. An oh hour. no, I, I have no doubt when when the Almighty finally just says, "Okay, I've had it. I've had enough with them. I'm done with them." He's gonna let the computer kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because hey, you gotta understand, we we've got nuclear missiles aimed at each other, and guess what controls the nuclear missiles? Computers. This took a dark hey, turn. Hey, you watched the Terminator last night, didn't you? Uh, no, no. Yeah. Oh, he watched the Rock. Oh no! Hey, look, I'm just telling you. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> I had too many bad experiences with computers in the military. They will run a muck on you. <laughs> you don't want. Oh, I will say this: they will run a muck on me. Cause I just, hey, I, 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 all I did was I wrote a letter, signed it, Sergeant First Class Robertson. This is time sensitive. Filed it. Okay, it filed. It doubled the last line. I fooled with it for a little while, and then finally I just, I hit file, and then hey, something from. Out of space, started running through this computer, and it was just running whatever it wanted to run. And I'm looking at it, and the guy behind me, I was screaming at this stupid machine. He come out and said, "What did you do now?" And I said, "Look, I ain't done nothing." I said, "I filed this stupid thing, and look right now, something else took over. I ate an energy machine or something, because hey, it's gone slam insane." <laughs> I can't turn it off. I can't stop it. I can't do nothing with it. Oh, I hate to tell you, you can turn it off. Oh, no, no, I can't. He's plugged into the wall somewhere. Well, hey, I'm telling you, I can't because, look, he said, hey, look, it's 5 o'clock. Go ahead go home. I'll fix this. And I said, hey, that thing is time sensitive. It needs to go out tonight. He said, I got it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So the next morning at 5 a.m. I come in. He had done crash the system seven times. Had to reload everything we had. So he had been there all night screaming at it, okay, and it's still running the muck when I walked in the next morning. I've dealt with some of your fallouts. That's about how they go. Oh, no, no, I'm serious. <laughs> the machine is going to kill us one day. The whole world, it's going to burn it up, <laughs> you know, and we're done. We're toast. We are done. Let's take a break. We'll be back <laughs> right after this. Sai, do you know your credit score? 
I don't give a flip about my credit score. You can't not give a flip about your credit. <laughs> yeah, Credit's important, Si. What do you mean important? You got to have a credit score to buy things. <laughs> For those of you that haven't been on national TV and yeah. need to build a little credit, that yeah. way if you need a new car. <laughs> yeah. Or if you need to buy some sweet glasses. Uh, some yeah. oh, sweet glasses. No, you know. Battle Vision. Oh, or right. if you're 74 <laughs> you're and you right. decide, now I want to buy my <sighs> first new vehicle. Yeah. You Dang. could be building credit for five dollars a month. You gotta build it. I gotta mean, have it. You do it easy with our friends over at Kickoff. Okay. Ain't nothing well, to here's it. the question I got to ask you. Ask me. How do you build credit? Well, it's tough, but Kickoff because yeah, they don't give you any money. Martin, <laughs> tell Uncle Si about Kickoff. That's so why he can we're trying to kick off score. your credit. Kick hey, off I've is... been kicked off all my life. No, that's ticked off. There's a difference. Oh, no. I said kickoff. Oh, kickoff. Kickoff. This yeah. is the name of our new credit thing. Si, we've been reading it for three weeks. It's fine. We're trying but, to hey, tell you. Yeah, obviously, you pay attention. Well, That's hey, good. Yo, I'm on my top of my We're game. We're going to trade them glasses in for some hearing aids next. Look, hey, kickoff I, I, is the I, easiest way to build credit fast. Whether you have no credit or want to boost your score, kickoff is the number one credit building app that has helped over a million people take control of their credit. You can apply in minutes with no credit check. Good thing, because that's what you're building. No hidden fees and no interest. Plans start at just $5 a month and every on-time payment you make with kickoff is reported to the major credit bureaus when they see healthy habits. You see a happier credit score. Boom. That's all you're trying to do. You're saying, I possess the ability to pay somebody back. Oh, now I understand. <laughs> Oh, well, not well, getting well, credit. I didn't have healthy habits. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, that that, that that's, that's an understatement of the century. <laughs> yeah. But here we are. I, I get it now. Hey, you can even set it to auto pay, where you ain't got to worry about it anymore. It'll do it all on its own. So that's you're just sitting there building credit. Look, with a 4.9 out of 5 rating in the App Store and over 44,000 rave reviews, you can trust Kickoff to help you get ahead. That's k i k o f f dot com to build your credit score without the lift. Start today, Kickoff dot. That's right. Well, I was in Willie's truck one time, and it was on cruise control. And it just it went way down because I got behind somebody. But mm -hmm. I think it's on cruise control. Yeah. I was going 50 on the interstate for an hour. Yeah, it's got radar on. I was like, yeah. what? what? Yeah, I put that it on cruise too. control. Yeah. That happened too. So. Yeah, they got radar yeah. on it. Yeah. And I don't pay that much attention to how fast I'm going. I so. said, somebody somewhere has put a governor in this thing, and I have no idea how to turn it off. <laughs> Well, sigh against the machines. And that should have been your band. Then I had to contact Felipe and say, hey. I think it's been done. Come God. over here. Come over here and turn the governor off on this stupid machine that I've got. And? And he did. There you go. <laughs> no. Oh, you truck. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you tell me. When they, when they say, hey, this one's got all the bells and whistles. I'm still looking at stuff now. If you ever say something, something. what else is it no. besides collision imminent, which is my favorite? Oh, it'll take over if you're getting too close to a vehicle. That's, that's a good thing. It'll take over just just move you over in another lane. Is that a good thing? No. Why not? Because it scared the you know what out of me the first time it happened. I'm going down the highway, and then all of a sudden I'm, like, <laughs> I freaked out. <laughs> I bet the person I think the world's that you were about probably to just, hit really freaked out. Dude. I think the world's probably just ready for you not to drive. <laughs> no. I got to get to where I got to go. Yeah, but you got Philip. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> My grandmother's 85. She still drives. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Remember, she got involved in a high speed chase. <laughs> That's right. Hey, cops chasing her. Yeah. She and got hey, she got spike strip and they couldn't catch her <laughs> and hey and they couldn't catch her and they've got radios yeah yeah she, she just, might not should I hadn't heard this story you yeah oh heard this story? Wow. yeah, yeah. She, her and Thelma and Louise got spike strip there at the intersection That's of right. Edgum, uh they North Seventh in Arkansas yeah they finally had to get her with the, the strips the, the, the cop got behind her because her friend was going fifty and a thirty five and her friend's like ninety. And my grandmother said, oh, you didn't get out the way. I think it's a fire truck. <laughs> so she said, well, I'll just gas it then. So I get out of the way. Then hey. the police were like, calling all cars, calling all cars. We got a runaway <laughs> minivan. Yeah. Two old ladies. They didn't know it was two old ladies. <laughs> and they spike stripped them. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how they felt. They probably pulled out, get down, get out, get down. And, eh, you know, like. <laughs> oh, yeah. My grandmother got spiked. Was, uh, I think my dad like pulled they was up just going, there was 10 cop cars. Oh, they just go to crochet at the church house, you know. <laughs> they, like, they were on their way to church. That's and, what I'm saying. Hey, and they were late. So, hey. Oh, well, let's go. I'm. 
I got I got to call some of my friends in law enforcement on that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, WMPD. Uh, Washington uh, Parents and oh, WM. no, oh, it was well, a joint. It, it was a joint task. The chase started outside <laughs> the city limits, and then they were waiting on them when they crossed that line, <laughs> and just got them. Oh yeah, this is, grandma. The man. fact that it didn't make the news is the saddest part. Oh, oh my god, no, they, ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let that be known. When was, when did this chase. happen? Oh, that was a while back. What, probably six eight months ago. Yeah. Yeah. High speed chase. They open Louise, son. They done got got. <laughs> going to church in a minivan. <laughs> I mean. Oh, my God. Yep. Grandmother, you don't mess with her. But she still drives. <laughs> See a blue minivan, probably. Steer clear. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. Oh, oh let me tell you something. Go ahead. You know that, that sauce y'all been talking about? W. Mm-hmm. Dubia. What did you cook? Um, so... Yeah, bullfrog killed a big old doe oh, last okay. week. All right. And uh, I, I cut out that preacher meat, that inner tenderloin. Yep. And uh, and I, I got that, what's that thing called? That stamper. The Japanese. Yeah. I don't know. Is, is there a oh, name for that thing? With all the needles? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Meat it tenderizer. It's, it's a tenderizer, but there's yeah, another name for it. Anyways, I did that real good. Put it in a bag, threw some of that W on it. <laughs> Waited two days. Pulled it out. Well, you marinated this two days. Yep, and then cooked that that preacher meat about one twenty five in the middle and sliced it up real thin. Son, and it melted your mouth. Oh, it was incredible. Mm. Oh, it boys. was incredible. And you didn't call me. And then yesterday, I I, I ch- cut me some pork chops about this thick. Oh, I mean they was I'm thick thick pork. In other words, you talking about? Hey, this is a piece of meat. I Here. put them in a ba- bag. I poured that W on them. Let them soak for overnight. I grilled them last night, son. Stone, when was the last time you bought a piece of meat that wasn't like a hole that you had to cut up? No, no. Well, no, you don't want to do that. No, I'm saying you buy like the whole ribeye. Well. You don't buy ribeyes. You buy like um, eight pounds of meat. He normally cooks for an army. If if I'm cooking for a lot of people. (gasps) Yeah, he cooks for an army. I'd I'd rather... Cause you you know the uh, now tenderloin ain't cheap these days you know, one hundred twenty bucks but you can feed ten people with it mm-hmm. so you figure that up it's not that bad uh, but no I'd much rather cook a whole piece of meat and then cut it up as opposed to individual steaks but sometimes like in pork chops you need that whole pork loin is good but if you cut them up into thick chops and then brine them because you want to brine a chop you don't you already dry out. Mm-hmm. So I use a little salt. A uh, thick pork chop ain't easy to cook. It's not. Uh, you can, we'll cook it. Uh, what's the temperature good. on pork chops? Where it's now? good. I, I cook they them to like one fifty. One fifty. Yeah. What's I stop. That? I stop short of one sixty five. That's but, right. Then let them let them finish on their own. Yeah. Let them rest in a little Irish butter. Mm-hmm. A little carry go. Mm. Yeah. I remember the first time I cut into a piece of pork at some fancy place that was like Dry. medium. No, like medium. Oh. I was like, no. I was like, uh, can we do this? Uh, is this okay? Yeah. And they're yeah. like, oh no. yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. So you know, here I Ooh. went. I took a bite. I said, you boys on to something here now. I, I'm I'm with you. Like I I get it. You didn't pick your guts up. No, I was no. It was it was with Kylie of all people. Kylie, Kylie. Tingwa, <laughs> yeah, from Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Them Minnesotans will eat some raw pig. It's good though. I was like, hey. I didn't I didn't know you could do that. Uh, I didn't either. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can cook pork to medium. I think, yeah. Well, don't the USDA have certain temperatures? Uh, oh, no. No, you can cook it however you or feel the comfortable. FDA, FDA. That's just a recommendation, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they say the same thing about steak. Oh, last time I was. Eating undercooked meat is bad for, you know, or could be, whatever. But that, 145 you know, on a pork chop. Yeah. I go 150 and let her rest. You know that time Rebecca made that chicken, and I think she cooked it to about 135. Oh, now see, Willie cut into it and see medium rare chicken. I'm out nope. on that. Blood nope. just poured nope. out of it. Yeah, no, I'm out on that chicken. Uh, needs to no. I'm a medium plus cook, man. When you got to cook no, the chicken. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and yeah. throw that W word in there. Well, yeah. what do you say? What Willie? Say? All right, boys, let's get on that bloody chicken. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to foul up in front of him. <laughs> no. That boy got a memory like an elephant on mistakes. Mm. He don't ever remember nothing you did good. No, but, not one. Not a but single But he remember time. he remember every mistake you make. <laughs> he don't you give him the best thing he ever ate, he don't he gonna forget that. Uh, I think that's a but, trait, a Robertson trait. <laughs> Selective memory. My wife is the same way. <laughs> 
I give your wife this. She done got them peanut butter pies to a, a dadgum art. She made you another one? No, not yet. But all I got to do is ask, and she will. Oh. Oh, I, they are I try fine. not to be overbearing on that, but boy, they are good. She made one for Sai. He took a bite out of it. Said it ain't much. Hey, I, I, I you don't like peanut butter. I, hey, hey. <laughs> he said, <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, I, I've had better pie. Okay, <laughs> fight, fight, fight. So, Man, you just if a you want if you want to flip the know? choices, yeah, no, give me coconut. What or, did you say about for owls? Owls cherry pie. Whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. Cream, cream cheese. Okay. okay, that brings uh, it back. Oh, hey, a I'm cherry kidding. pie over a peanut butter pie, though? Mm-hmm. No. no he's talking about Al's pie. cream cheese hey, use, pie. Hey, look, use the uh, peanut butter pie to put in somebody's face. Give me the cherry. <laughs> it's a cream cheese pie with cherries on top yeah. of it. It's not yeah. a cherry pie. Yeah. Oh, it's a cherry pie. No, it's not. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fine. Because the first pie. thing I do is I'm like, yeah, I want that pie. And I take them cherries and I go, <laughs> That's yeah, right. He, and then you eat like, the pie. He don't like cherries. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, you know, they're good in a pork chop or a pork loin, but that's about where that ends. Oh, they are. Oh, and throw yeah. pineapple on top of that. No. Or under it. No. Oh, yeah. Throw pineapple on What did we just create here with pineapples, cherries, and pork chops? Well, you leaving pineapples off, but you put oh. them cherries inside a pork loin with some breakfast sausage, you got you mm-hmm. something. And in, some so. cream no, no, no. Hey, then yeah. throw all that out. Go ahead and put some cherries and some shine and really good stuff. Yeah, I'm trying that. to get full, not drunk. <laughs> oh no, hey! <laughs> I, I I'm that. having a cherry. Hey, let's go both ways. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> it's because I threw it off the top of some ice. Let's get a little buzz too. <laughs> uh, here we go. Well, we're gonna go make an old fashioned, and we'll be back. Right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> so, what'd you do yesterday? Check my eyelids for pinholes. That's about <laughs> all I do. Mm-hmm. You've been sleeping good lately. Uh, that you? and watch westerns. Why does he? Fa- he can't get off that grit. That's right. Hey. He can't get off. Oh, they know they got some new ones. You know, oh, I should say not new. I was old, gonna say there's new old westerns? movies that they're doing. Have you seen everything that they put on that channel? Nope. Oh, so there's like stuff that you're like. Oh no, no, yeah, this is new yeah, to me. Yeah, that it, it goes. You know, long time ago. I remember we used to go up there and go to Arkansas to go duck hunting. And them boys, the Morrises, had satellite TV. Well, Si ain't have that. And they had, like, Encore Westerns or something. Si would sit in front of that fireplace (laughs) all day after we got duck hunting. And he knew every actor in every one of them. And they're in black and white. I'm like, how do you? And that's before TVs got good. Like, I mean, they weren't, it wasn't even that good of a TV. No. That's old Lee Van Cleef. That's old, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, he just, yeah. but he oh, would that's what's funny. You See? brought that up. No, no. See? My I'm wife has you. got hooked on these spaghetti westerns. Uh-oh. Christine has. You sure it's not tacos? Oh, no. Oh. It's spaghetti westerns. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> it, was like, it was like 1030. We just watched a, a, a one on grit. A.M. or P.M.? Uh, this 10.30 at night. Oh. So we're normally. You're burning the midnight yeah, oil, no, huh? no, Yeah, we're normally in bed by then. You know, and that, that movie ends, just 10.30, and here's, here's another start, and I, I turn it off. I said, well, we're going to go to bed. Oh, she said, hold it, hold it. This is the good, bad, and ugly coming on. She said, hold it, hold it. Well, that's going to take you till 2 a.m. No, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me, hey, no, no, we're going to watch this. You know, and I said, I, what? She said, turn it on. We might as well watch it. She said, I, I ain't been sleeping very good. I said, well, okay. <laughs> so y'all started the good, the bad, and the oh, ugly yeah. at 10.30 oh, right. p.m.? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. And also, finally, about, hey, one thirty, I get up talking, hey, I done seen this sucker 50 times. Let me go oh, you. Bread. We used to watch that thing 50 times oh. building duck calls. Oh, no. You've seen yeah. it more than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, what was good was all all the. That middle hour and audio, a half ain't much. <laughs> the audio, all that, a guy did that all that stuff with a guitar and his his voice. Oh yeah, all one, the same. One person. Yeah. With a stupid guitar and all that. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm you, that was impressive, boy. I saw that guy doing that in the airport. Blundy. <laughs> <laughs> saw a guy doing that in the airport? Yeah. <laughs> doing the thing from the good, bad, and ugly. Well, I didn't see it. I saw it on, on the YouTube. Yeah. Oh no, no. And he, he, you know, it, it's just impressive watching him do it. Cause 
<laughs> There's a lot of sounds going on in that, you know. I just can't believe y'all started the good, the bad, and the ugly at 10.30 p.m. Oh, no. Hey, look. Did he sleep all day? That movie long, though, man. Oh, yeah. That's a long movie. And the only parts worth watching are like the first 45 minutes and then the last hour. <laughs> that middle section is rough. Yeah. yeah it's, it, kinda, it's, it's, it's a little slow. slow. It's well, a little that's because slow. that's the bad. Yeah. It's the good. Yeah. The bad. And then the ugly. There's two types of men in this world. <laughs> those with shovels. <laughs> and those with guns. <laughs> dig. Dig. <laughs> <laughs> those who dig. I have, I have one liners. <laughs> them movies, some of them movies had the best one liners in it there. Mm. Oh, man. Why do they Worm, call it spaghetti? Worms and buzzards got to eat. Yeah, buzzards got to eat. Same yep. as worms. I saw the worms. Y'all said that for you. Gotta stop at seven seconds. <laughs> Otherwise, we get copyright flag. That's right, boy. <laughs> this that's that's the old man doing that. Look at there. He did that with his mouth. It looks like it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. It's crazy what that, he looked like, Cy. Si. What he that does. guy can do. That makes sense. Yeah, oh, actually. Uh, yeah, he looked like Cy. Si. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it was impressive. <laughs> So, Sai, what is your favorite movie? All time, oh, what is great, it? Great favorite, no. You don't have one? I think so. Too that. many? Mm -hmm. There's too many. But if you like, you go at home right now and you want to watch something, what is it? I'm just curious. Put it on Channel 81, Grit. And just see what and, happens? And see what, no, no. Play Russian what, Roulette? Yeah, 80. See what's one. coming on. Channel 81. They got the, what, the Tales of Wells Fargo, starring Dale Robertson. Oh, your cousin. Yeah, well, hey, I, I, he's related somehow. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, oh, got, cousin Dale. That's good. Yeah. Tales about a bank? Huh? Nope. Wells Fargo. They run a stagecoach in the old days <laughs> with the uh, boxes, you know, strong boxes. Mm. And they they had a bad record of of uh, stages being held up. Thieves everywhere. What would Thieves you? Thieves everywhere, boys. Let's that's pretend it. for a second. With the, this is eighteen. 42 and we're out somewhere on the plains of new mexico what would your job have been bartender <laughs> yeah yeah no nope. that's exactly what oh 100 percent. he'd have worked in the saloon it'd be because he ain't got a mean bone in his body no, I, so he no. ain't gonna rob nobody no he ain't into law enforcement he'd be in the entertainment business yeah he'd, he'd be, be at, he'd be at the yeah. saloon tickling the ivories or pouring the drinks 100 mm -hmm. percent. telling or having a spelling contest telling stories yeah Sir, <laughs> rebuttal? Uh, no, he ain't I'm got just, one. I'm just saying they may be right. Because <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they said that, you go, no? Uh, well, well, maybe. <laughs> well, 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 now then, one of y'all got to talking. I said, well, maybe I would have been a bartender. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I, I always figured I'd have been a young gunman that come in and get killed right quick. That would have been one, me. One wouldn't been fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no, did, you avoid yeah. conflict at all costs, though. So oh, that I, ain't I, you. I've seen you are very fast on the draw. Yeah. That's, that's, I've seen that. That's why you'd have been a good bartender. Well, you'd have had that pistol under the under yeah. the cabinet. So if somebody come in there and try to get foolish, you'd have been all right. Yeah. But it's well, going to take been, them acting yeah, foolish to yeah, get you stirred up. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been a pistol. It would have been a shotgun. A little sawed off? Yeah, the little sawed off version. A little sawed off 20 gauge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you'd have been running the poker game over in the corner. Right there, with my back to the door. Mm-hmm. Let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Let's get in that inbox. Johnny D, you hello at duckcallroom.com. I don't have a lot of questions today, but I have some funny things. You got some statements? I got yeah. some statements. I like statements. Funny statements. Tony, you didn't tell me not to use your name. Tony from San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. That's Spanish for... That's right. Never mind. No. I can't say that. Can I? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was making sure. The people I'm... that got it already got it. Yeah. They're They've good, seen man. Anchorman. Um, if you're not 17, don't watch it. It's against the rules. Um, Tony's 34 years old, and he's been suffering from hemorrhoids for the last six months. <laughs> oh, until no. Uncle uh -uh. Si cured me. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. No way. No. He put Vicks there? <laughs> <laughs> I got this... 32 minutes ago. As uh, funny as it sounds, and it's an embarrassing topic, 
He doesn't like going to the doctor for every anything, so he tried everything over the counter. Nothing seemed to work. And then he heard Uncle Si talking about it. <laughs> and look at Si. <laughs> look at him. I'm just saying, hey, if you got them and they're bothering you in any way, <laughs> my mother used Vicks Vapor Rub for home remedy cures on everything. I mean, how do you not shoot through the ceiling when you put that there? <laughs> oh, no, no, like, no, look. If I mean, I would feel like I'm a, no, a no, NASA if, rocket getting ready to... Well, I no, mean, no, no, because look, if, yeah, if they're, you know, raw... Well, you... Oh, it's going to burn. <laughs> okay, but okay. look, but look... Hey, if Is I there had a them, situation where when they're not raw that they're bothering well, you? Well, I'm just saying, <laughs> hey, if you've got something that is bothering you, okay, you, and you got and you went to the doctor and they can't help you, okay, and you've tried all the remedies that you get across the, from the people that sell all this junk. Tony backs them up. And get you then a little somebody fit. says, hey, look, yo, know, I've got the cure if you won't, you know, if you'll use it. So in a perfect world, your toolbox would look like a can of WD-40, a roll of duct tape, and a, and a jar of a vapor rub. Vapor. And you pretty well, oh, and probably some BC powder. <laughs> and it'll you, never... you can take on anything. Like, what I'm else you saying, need? Right, look. But what the... you know, when I was growing up, my mother, what, it was castor oil, okay. Epsom salt. Epsom salt, okay, and Vicks Vapor Rub. If you had a sore throat, hey, rub some Vicks Vapor Rub on your chest and your throat. You know, even take a little bit and swallow it. So what did you use for an applicator? Huh? <laughs> well, well, here's... <laughs> Phil got into this one with this was all coming about. And I said, hey, you use a teaspoon. And then throw it away. Okay, No. You use a teaspoon, get it out of the Vicks Vapor Rub <laughs> container. Throw it. Okay, and then you take the fing your finger, okay, and get you enough on your finger. And then I'll have the application. Uh, so the finger's the application. Yeah, yeah application. but don't put your finger in the Vicks Vapor Rub. Don't, no, because no. No double dipping here. There ain't no double <laughs> dipping, okay? You use a teaspoon, you get it, you know. <clears throat> So you're saying I'm just saying to cure hemorrhoids, it's a teaspoon I, of menthol cream. Yeah. <laughs> swipe on your finger yeah. and apply, shove it up your rear end. That's right. Apply it. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you what. If yo know, to use And then a, tie to, a rope from your leg to whatever piece of furniture you're around oh, no, to keep no, you from no, going no, no, through no. the seat. Oh no. Look, and if you're having problems like your stool is too hard, okay, hey, you'll be like a submarine. Fire torpedo one. Shoom, it's gone. <laughs> That's got to okay. hurt. <laughs> no, it ain't going to hurt. It will, hey, I'm just telling you, if you've got hemorrhoids bad, okay, mm. then apply Vicks Vapor Rub to it, and hey, if they're itching. Does it'll... it burn? If Yeah. Yeah. Is it like when, remember when you get chafed like in junior high football and look, you put the stuff on and it just burn like No, forever? no, look. Anything, I just slept naked. Look, no, no, look. <laughs> anything, okay, because if you take a, a container of Vicks Vapor Rub, open it, okay? It's like gasoline. It's fumes. And you're putting that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, hey, I'm telling you, okay, if it itches, it'll stop it. Okay, if it's painful, it'll stop it. Okay. But does it bring more pain to subdue nope. the pain? No. Tell nope. me. Because like I said, if they're raw, if your emeralds are raw, you put it on. Well, sure, of course it's going to burn. He said if you got bad hemorrhoids. Has there ever been somebody that said, boy, I like my hemorrhoids? <laughs> well, no, no, I'm just saying, if they're bothering you all the time, if all you ever hear is go, boy, I'll keep my hemorrhoids are killing me. And I said, hey, idiot, take a little Vicks Vapor Rub, put on it, and it'll stop. Tony, no, Tony no. confirms. Then I'm going to look at you and say, well, hey, then suffer, you idiot. You deserve to suffer. If you want to try it, <laughs> just go ahead and put up with it. <laughs> Tony backs him. Yeah. Mm. Tony says, thanks, Uncle Si, hey, for look, sharing your hey, wisdom. It works. Go with it. All right, yeah. next. I'm done with hemorrhoids. Hey. I hope. I never. All right. Well, we're just going to stay on the craziest stuff I've heard today. <laughs> mm. 
Look at this new Duck Call Room fan right there. Hey, hey that's boy. what's up. There you go. We yeah. got a brand new little one. buffalo. Brand. All right. You know what that kid's name is? Silas, please. We named him after Uncle Si because he is a man of God. True. Amen. Veteran and outdoorsman. Amen. So amen. there's a new Silas. He's a baby. I, I'm not going to say his last name, but he's from Kentucky. I'll just say he's from Kentucky. Well, here's the deal. Young man, you're fixing to be traveling. Why's that? Because, hey, Silas was, the name comes from the Bible. It was Paul's traveling companion. That's true. And, hey, all I, my mother said, hey, I, I feel like I didn't have you very long. And I said, well, it's your own fault. You named me after Paul's traveling companion. I've been on the road ever since. Well, you know, there's another baby named Silas. Yeah, just into the world. It's and his last name is Robertson. That's right. David Silas Robertson. Jay, Jace's grandson. grandson. Oh, Reed named his. Yeah. yeah. Reed named that yeah. that child. Jason Silas. Silas. Reed Reed Silas. David Silas. And they're gonna call him Sy. And they're gonna call him Sy. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> they make him glasses so, and baby size. Oh, yeah. yeah there there <laughs> is sure, another sure they do. Si sure. That one's in Tennessee, isn't it? Yeah. He could be friends with this yeah, side. Yeah, they're moving back here here directly. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're moving back. In a minute. Well, there's another side in the world. Praise me. Also the craziest thing I've ever heard. And then Dane, Dane sent this picture in. Burley? No, another oh. day. And, and just because we've been complaining about the weather a lot lately. He kind of looked like Burley. He's from yeah, he Canada. Canada. Uh, Canada. And it's negative 47 degrees. No thanks. Mm. But why? But why is it negative 47 or why? No, why it, are you outside? I don't. I mean, you got to go outside at some point. How are you going to work? Is that snow or ice? In I think beard? his beard is just naturally frozen from walking to his vehicle. Yeah, breath. Oh, just just, just breath. breathing. You're just breathing. breathing has frozen. Okay. Ooh. Negative 47 from Canada. Yeah, me and 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 Masai, when we were in Minnesota, ice fishing, it was negative 22. 20. Yeah. Double it. <laughs> no, no. When I landed, Double that. When I landed in Anchorage, when I went to Vietnam, it was minus 40. Oh. And I was in khaki uniform. Mm. And that was when they didn't have the gate that you pull up to in the thing. Oh, you was out there on the tower, man. Oh, no, no. You walk down the stairs and then mm -hmm. walk in the deal. Well, I think it doesn't matter. It was comfortable. Did you jog? It, oh, no, till I got inside. Then I just creep. <laughs> you know, that's where the grizzly bear met me. 14 foot, fully mounted grizzly bear was standing behind a wall around the corner. And when I walked around the corner, he's like this, and his claws look like, you know, they was that long. You know, full mount, and I like that a heart attack. <laughs> I'm serious. A group like that. Oh, I gotta love it. Oh, Johnny boy. D, send us out of here. I got us got today. Yeah. James 117. I don't know what you find a good and perfect gift. It could be Vicks Vapor Rub to heal all things. For him, Roars, it is. But every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights who does not change like the shifting shadows. Everything good you got, it's from the Lord, and he has been the same since the beginning of time, and he will always be the same. If you don't know him, look into him. Amen. Because he is the light of the world.